My name is Michael Konkwa. I'm the presiding bishop of the Redeemed Evangelical Mission, otherwise known as TREM, in Lagos, Nigeria. Permit me to join the multiply millions around the world to pay tribute to a man that changed my life completely. Papa Cerulo gave me the privilege of being uh, uh, one of those invited to San Diego, California in 1981. And that singular meeting and encounter with him and subsequent meetings at the World Conference and also schools of ministry that were held scattered all over the nations of the world completely turned my life and ministry around. And today we are making impact in different nations of the world simply because a man poured his life into my life. And that is not just all that. The same story goes with every other person, millions around the world. Today, there is scarcely any part, any continent in the world where you cannot see his footprints through his sons and daughters speaking loud and clear in those nations and making formidable impact in the churches, building large churches, raising men and women in government places and doing exploits. It's simply because somebody laid down his life. Papa Cerulo, what was uppermost in your heart, which was for you to pour your life into people, you, you accomplished it. You accomplished because your sons are all over the place and they are duplicating that which you put in them. And besides, I will not forget the several visits you made to Nigeria. Even I can't forget one of those visits where we had a conference that attracted thousands from different nations in Africa. I remember it was held in my own auditorium. Many, many sons and daughters that were impacted in that meeting are doing exploits in their various nations. I meet with them. Some of them meet with me and say we were at that conference that turned their life around. Indeed, you came, you saw and conquered. You have fought a good fight. You finished your course. You kept the faith. And the legacy project, which was uppermost in your heart, you live to accomplish it. What more can we say? We would have wished that you stay, still stay around, but we cannot question God. God had another plan. And we want to say to you, adieu until we meet at the feet of Jesus.